online right about now. Welcome back. My name is Delirium. This is TribesCast.com. We're covering Tribes Ascend, Voyengineers versus Team Llama Grab in the closed beta private invitational scrimmage series for competition mode. We're about ready to go on map two. After some delay, we've had to reduce this best of five down to best of three. Llama Grab is in the lead. They won Catabatic, which is the map we're going to ready up on for Arsenal Venna. Arsenal Venna, very cool map. I have with me Sadikist, a uh, Call of Duty competitive player who has been. Uh, Providing me his lovely radio voice for commentary. <laughs> Just waiting on confirmation that everyone is here. It's going to be 8 on 8. Capture the flag is the rule set. Uh, capture the flag, the premier tribes event has always been. And we're just waiting a couple more seconds to confirm that everyone's here. Maybe not. Uh, not everyone's here. I'm I'm the eighth player right now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you faked I, me out then. Yeah, no, I'm I'm just uh, playing around. I think Bitor still the one not here. I saw him in IRC, so yeah, it would make it easier for them to count guys. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh... Ah, there's Bitor, just in time, just in time to take your place. It was perfect, perfect on the fly change. <laughs> <laughs> Every hockey team in North America would be proud. So, I guess, uh, Arx Nevena, pretty unchaseable back cap, and that's a very deadly thing for teams that can't stop it and don't have a, an offense in gear to get ready to, to yeah. stop the play. I've seen one approach that actually works to that. I forget where I saw it. It was actually leaving someone below the aqueduct, ready for the person to come through, and then hitting him with a second splash as he came un underneath. Not a bad answer. Not bad. The only problem would be if that guy's not ready, or if he gets waylaid by... Offense well, or whatever, yeah, easy, or easy to disrupt that and clear that, but uh, I have seen it attempted. And that could be, again, you're talking about flexibility before the break. Flexibility is so important in tribes, and to have the flexibility to realize, hey, there's a back cap coming through, you need to turn around and shoot that guy before he passes underneath <laughs> you for free, you know? Absolutely. Uh, that's going to be communication. Like, there are so many skills beyond can you shoot your guns to make your tribe's career you know, blossom into fruition because, like, you've got to be able to say what's important on your voice comm, you've got to be able to know uh, where your guys are. Go ahead. Th there's one other thing that, and, and we say all of this, and we have all these voice comms, and it's fantastic, but there's one thing that's, that's built into the game that, that that goes unmatched and unparalleled right now. It's simple pressing your, pressing your left alt key, spotting it up. If you know yes. a guy's coming for a back, do that. Everyone knows you don't have to spam your bike and confuse everyone. It's easy to see, and that's uh, that goes a long way in this, these quick cap routes. Yep, I know that for a while my team was saying, have the defense spot and have the offense talk. That's how they were coordinating. That's one way to do it. So here we are. We're going to be live in two seconds on Arsenal and Vena. This is game point for Latino Longrad. They reduced this best of five to best of three. So uh, already we're seeing some red guys, Blood Eagle. Uh, team Longrad is going to go try and get away with Voyageneers' flag. Voyageneers, I think they're down a player. Ooh, that's not good. Starting out, mm, it does look like they are down one, and it looks like they're on a five-four fury. It's going to go out and take on tweak for disrupting. Loken also disrupting on flag, but they've got an un un unmanned on both sides right now, uh, both D and O. So this will be a very interesting approach. And how I mean, they, they may not want to call it out because they want to just let the guy reload. But if they have got a guy have this game crash, he has to come back. They're going to have to like hold it down the fort for a little bit and not get too out of control before. Uh, Things happen here. Already, Tweak is trying to clear for his capper. Shark Axe is yep, going to be making it run in the flak. Their the dedicated capper is running. Is he running Pathfinder again? Yeah, there's the back cap. That's going to be really hard to stop unless they have guys in place to get the flag moving. Yeah, exactly what we talked about. And very simple. Bitor does see him coming in. He has that offensive position to Ooh, turn on to him. Good excellent grab by, by Rip. Rip. That was actually a, really just a planned counter grab in the scrambler with the whiteout jumps. He's already mostly home. Oh, his flag comes home. I didn't see how he got killed. It looks like Snowout killed him with a disc. Yeah, they, they, the, the light O basically waited for the flag to arrive and just turned on him rather than trying to take on the other D. Toriel got a grab. It's going to be a pretty easy return here, I think. No, there are guys in place to try and stop it. No, Lanthus gets the return. Easy cap for Rip. Killed too late by, uh, by Laukin. And just and like that, already the team, a grab. Yeah, the yeah, team that right. started a man down uh, is is one up here. So excellent start, T good team coordination there. That that just shows the experience. Like they've been around. Byer's been around for so long. I mean, programming things. I think he was a scripter or something for tribes. I forget what he did, but just in general, has been 
had it in his head for all this time, and so he knows how the game flows and how to get his guys motivated and how to get them to work together. So that, that experience, I don't think, is going to be a small factor here. He looks like he's playing offense for his team, clearing out with that scrambler uh, Arxbuster, trying to move that flag out of that tight hallway where they were babysitting it. Nope, he dies to Tomasar. Let's see if they set up again. Uh, Blown grab to get another run for, for, for Shark Hacks, their dedicated grabber. Full reset on flags now, too. So, I was asked to look at classes. No, Toriel's looking for a grab. It looks like he got bounced around. There, it's going to be a four on one for Shark Hacks. I don't see anyone clearing for him at all. It's going to be pretty hard to get away. Nope, this is the flag. I Except think he elected, uh, actually elected to go right over the flag there. So you I, I wouldn't have wanted to touch death. that flag. Come on. But yeah, I was asked to look at classes, so we do see uh, three scramblers for wood engineers. That's a lot of scramblers, and that means they can move the flag pretty easily if they have escorts. You know, people escorting the scrambler, and then they can just pick it up and right out jump away for free speed. Here comes Rip again, doing the back half. That's going to be really hard. I mean, it's going to be up to t somebody here tweaks to analyze somebody to stop this flag from moving because it's already most of the way home. Yeah, I just want to mention too, just going back to classes, the other interesting thing is, is everyone keeps stressing Raider, Scrambler, Raider, Scrambler. Neither of those classes being seen right now for Llama. So uh, that's very interesting that uh, perhaps they're anticipating a patch or they just don't want to... 2 nothing now, sorry, I apologize, missed that no, one. No, no, it's okay. I was gonna, in, but, uh, I'm sure Craig was watching, but I'm sure, you know, I feel I was going to say there was a tenth of an e-grab, but it was, I think, he missed or got knocked away. There were a couple guys trying to stop it, but they were just not able. Voyagers is holding their flag down pretty solid. Landneth... It's not sniping like he... No, I'm sorry. I think it's Lanthus is their sniper. He's in Ranger, actually. Kind of surprising. Some teams do not favor a sniper in Arsavina. I guess it's not uh, uh, what they like, but I did see one person has now moved away from sniper for Team Lama Grab. They wanted the extra guy. I'm not sure who it was. Might have been Seattle Ice was was, was doing that. No, he's still sniping. No, I'm sorry. He's still hanging out in the Aqueduct shooting. Window hovering over, getting ready. I think they're a little bit early, unfortunately, for Shark X. He's pretty far away. Yep, Snowdog's coming in from the backside here on an awkwardly back-to-front route. Uh, as that Pathfinder Ooh. does grab it, it's a more directional to flag route. It comes off the back, uh, I guess you'd say back right over across the left of the flag. Good grab. I, th I saw on the other side, Shark Hacks was setting up. I think he did go down and tweak Shark no, Hacks I think on he, flag now. He got stopped. Ooh. Oh, great e grab. That was a fantastic e grab that, Shark Hacks. That he does go down quickly, really cool. though. The flag, like, flew into his body for the return. Yeah, that was fantastic. But the flag, unfortunately, has been a chain grab by Rip, who is already uh, more than halfway home and looking to uh, you know, make this... Because the thing about Void is they, they know how to be calm. They've got both flags under control. They're ready to make this play as soon as the flag comes back. Oh, they, they might have made it too soon, unlocked. though. Shark Hack's coming in. You're and right, he you're does right. make that E-grab. Front to back and around the hills is going to be the long way around. Rip is almost yep. dead. He's going to hand it off. We, we've Raptor. heard projectile. Sorry, we've heard projectile talk about that route. It's a 15 second or less setup for the front to back. It's not an effective exit, but it does get you on the flag. So good play by Shark Hacks. And, and I mean, the thing is that I saw a team doing this front front to back. I think it was Boss or somebody was doing that. Maybe maybe it was Dead Stop. I don't know. But they were doing this front to back, and they were just chilling in the hills and just like getting escorted, and they didn't have any problem doing it. They weren't worried about uh, going slow. Shark has got a couple guys on him, but looking for Thomasar to come in to pick up this flag. He might be able to get a free pick up. There we go. And figure his family on the other side is keep the flag moving as the gets a chain grab from the return, I think. Hey, interesting ranger pass. Uh, Thomas Air obviously grabbing it as a ranger. If he was a scrambler, he could have been whited out, out of there, but uh, he's electing with that, uh, that ranger pack. He does get it home. He does still have good health, and it looks like we might go into full standoff mode here. So we'll see how this For changes. A second. It is a smaller map. For a second, Tomasar flew over some guys, scooting by them as they were trying to kill him, but I think he's going to be able to stabilize with his team here. And it's going to be... No, a return. Was a return for the Team Long Grab. They could make it a one-point game. Nope, Snowdog is right there with the chain grab. They are doing what I was talking about, which is just owning the enemy flag stand and making it there so that they can uh, keep the flag moving no matter what happens, making it really hard for Long Grab to... Uh, keep their flag still when they get it under control. Yeah, and, and thing to note there, Snowdag was, was obviously set up on the flag for the chain grab uh, while the standing off people were in the backfield up by the vehicle pad. If they had a, brought that standoff down, it was three on one, they probably could have taken him out and gone for the cap there, but just a little off, uh, off in the distance there for that one. There are teams that favor holding the flag that you're carrying at the vehicle pad. Another return. By, I, didn't, I missed the second one, too. That's kind of embarrassing. But that must have been really good by the... Uh, for the Lama Grab offense to get that flag back for free. You know, twice in a row like that. Immediately grabbed by Rip. But they have made it a one-point game, which after the Lama Grab. I was saying some teams like to hold it at the vehicle pad where the spawns are so they can feel more safe. But if you're not holding it on the flag stand, you have that problem where the guy is just there at the flag stand just takes it away from you as soon as you get it back. 
For sure. Full reset here. Both flags on the stand. It looks like uh, uh, Void has three guys at home just sending Rip and Bitor out now. Uh, whereas we see Window coming in with Tweak. Uh, looks like they'll likely be the clears. Uh, Toriel coming in from the backside. They got three clears on stand. Who's going to be the grab, though? That's that's the curious uh, thing. I don't Shark see any grab. The back is setting up. I, again, I'm a little disappointed there a little bit early because I don't think that they, they're they all going to die before, you know, Shark has Window to time well, free. though. Window sat out of the uh, out of the kill zone. Oh, and he's going to take it away from his buddy Shark who wasn't able to get a good round of stand, but he's going to be cut off quickly. Other side is going to be Snowdog running that pack right again, very unchaseable. And unfortunately, the Voyager's flag is being babysat out in the field, put back on the stand. There's nobody there to grab it. This could be an easy three, third capture for Voyager's right about now. It's yeah, only a lot been of eight suicides minutes. coming in. Oh, an immediate chain grab by Rip. They're just in control of Voyager's is. This could go to a third map. Yeah, the thing going. with the outside of the setup on the back to front of this is uh, you can you can take your time and really, really work out your timing as not only the clears, but as the capper. So if you know you're going to get a chain grabber, you know there's going to be an anticipated play, you can really take your time until you hit that riverbed and then you just pick up speed. And speaking of speaking of taking time and being calm, I've just been amazed at how calm Voyageneers is. They're just so in control, they know how the game flows. They've gotten their four capture just now, and as Craig pointed out, there's a strike up for Nitrous. Uh, so they are going to favor one vehicle uh, on this map. I mean, they seem to have gotten... Two strikes. Know, uh, okay, so there's a strike also by... The, who is that? I mean, Laukin probably? Yeah, yeah Laukin. it is Laukin. And I, they've just had it so that the other team is just so, you know, discombobulated. They feel like, oh, the flag is gone. I better get the other flag. I'm under a lot of time pressure. And so they, they're just not ready. They're not, they're not comfortable in their comfort zone. Ooh, the flag has dropped. Thomas Hart's going to try and keep it alive, but no, Landis is right there, going to return. It's flag scramble on the ground, no, Thomas Hart saves it, there's a couple guys dead, now it's going to be all blue players returning their flag, and they are holding their flag, it's going to be a quick cap out, I think, no, Lockin's there to save it. Great, but There's so grab. many blue players there, it's going to be easy cap out, I think, Arthur's going to look for it. Throws oh, the flag, no, no Tweak, right there, there. It. Arthur and Tweak are able to make a play, good job keeping their team alive, they have 15 minutes left to turn this around, they definitely can if they want to, if they just get their play together, they just got to calm down and relax and reset and get their guys coordinated and timed. By it's one of the things. Flag away. Go ahead. I'm just gonna kind of one of the things I've noticed in that in that play, and he ran out of energy, so he tried to throw the flag. It is a small base, but it's very interactive, and you're constantly using energy to defend it. So uh, it's very easy to to run out of energy trying to go for that last second on the flag and come so close. Bytor does bring the flag in now. Does drop it down. Thomas Sarah gonna go in for the return. Lanthus grabbing. Lanthus grabs it out of the field. He's gonna pop up now toward that vehicle pad. Run away from Lockin and Thomas Sari that are on him. And Sharkax coming in three on two on that side of the map right now. Sharkax putting hard a ton of pressure. To, uh, keep all this in mind. I mean, obviously Vortigeer just turned this around and they are gonna probably, unless there's some kind of a miracle for for long grab, gonna win the second map. Or they are definitely winning by a large margin in the second map. I'm not sure what they have changed. I want to look at their classes again real quick to say they have uh, Technician and Ultra Raptor. They have uh, one Sentinel, three Scramblers still, a couple Rangers. Someone has changed Ranger for the standoff. And then that Shriker. Is there a tank also? Is that what someone just said? Yep, oh, Snowdog also in a Shrike now. Um, for Void Engineering, trying to go in. Obviously, Shrike very effective in a standoff. Does have a lot of chain guns coming in. That Shrike already down a third of its health. Coming in on top of the flag. Ooh, and a, a Shrike, strike well timed. Lockin. Unfortunately, Sorry, no one there for the pick return. Up for there are a couple guys, though, coming in to threaten him. And a Shrike coming from Furious Phantom. Missile goes down. Shrike goes down. Or Shrike goes down. Tomasar is still alive, though. Drops it off to Laukin, who is going to be in a little bit of trouble. A couple guys all over him. Ooh, a SRAM by Snowdog. And Bytor is looking there to return the flag that his son dropped. Oh, and there it is. This could be the cap out right now. 5 1 Voyageneers. I don't know what they changed. But I I'm saw not sure there was, either, yeah. There was a soldier on uh, Llama Grab. I'm not sure what else they had. Yeah, interesting because uh, I, I called them right to, uh, to be disadvantaged in the cluster, but that stay at home defense really worked on Arcs. So. Well, I mean, cluster is an old tribes standby. And so if you're experienced in tribes like Voyageneers and Bytor definitely are, I suspect that you've got the sort of your mind around the game enough that you can do that if you've are pressed to. And I just think that Lama Grab was just totally put on their heels by the insane pressure they were under from Boy Engineers. Alright, go ahead. 